Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. Mainline steam train excursions are always something special to see. They give people the opportunity to experience what it was like when steam ruled the rails, either from on board the train or while watching trackside. It's a different view of steam in the 21st century from a setting outside of the more common tourist railroad or museum venue. Over the years, I've had several different opportunities to witness large mainline steam locomotives in action. One of the locomotives I've been lucky to see the most out of the lot is former Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railroad steam locomotive number 3751. This is a large, high-speed passenger and freight locomotive designed to cruise regularly at speeds in excess of 90 miles per hour. It was built in May of 1927 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works and served the Santa Fe until August of 1953 rounding off its career by pulling one final northbound run of the San Diegan passenger train from San Diego to Los Angeles, California. After that, the locomotive spent just shy of 30 years in a park in San Bernardino, California. In 1986, a not-for-profit group known as the San Bernardino Railroad Historical Society removed 3751 from the park and restored it to full operation over the course of five years. Since restoration, the locomotive has made numerous trips all over the western U.S. over the last 30 years from its home base in Los Angeles. Destinations for trips included Bakersfield, Sacramento, San Diego, the Grand Canyon, and even Chicago. Some of the last regular excursions 3751 made prior to a temporary removal from service in 2017 for a federally mandated boiler inspection were to San Bernardino. Each spring from 2010 through 2014, 3751 made one weekend trip to the San Bernardino Depot from Los Angeles for a special rail festival known as San Bernardino Railroad Days. I was fortunate enough to film these excursions all five years that they ran. To commemorate a full decade since the locomotive's last trip to San Bernardino, let's take a look back at Santa Fe 3751 as it traveled to railroad days. For this video, I have combined scenes of the special excursion from all five years by location. We will begin in Los Angeles, following the train to San Bernardino, and then back again. On each excursion, the train departed Los Angeles Union Station on a Saturday morning, traveling east over the Metrolink commuter rail San Bernardino line to reach the San Bernardino Depot. The return trip was made the following afternoon. We begin our journey to railroad days on the 7th Street Bridge along the Los Angeles River just north of Amtrak's 8th Street Yard. The date was April 27, 2013. 3751 backed out of the Amtrak Yard toward Union Station to allow ticket holders to board the train. At Los Angeles Union Station, the locomotive simmered away waiting for the departure time at 10 a.m. Seating for the two different days of the trip was sold separately as a one-way ticket on board the steam excursion with a return trip by way of a Metrolink San Bernardino line train. Fast forwarding to April 12, 2014, the train was ready for departure with a slightly different consist from the previous year. Yeah. 
With two triumphant blasts on the whistle and a rush of steam, 3751 pulled its train out of the station. Moving ahead and back in time to April 21st, 2012, I was greeted by a hazy view of the Los Angeles City skyline, Interstate 10, and the Metrolink San Bernardino line. Officially, this rail line is known as the Metrolink San Gabriel subdivision and at one time served as part of the Pacific Electric Railway interurban line to San Bernardino. This specific location is right next to the LA General Medical Center Hospital and may become the site of a new Metrolink station in the coming years. Running close to the advertised, 3751 and train rounded a curve as it passed through. Just a little ways east from the previous location, I saw the train on May 8th of 2010 as the locomotive continued to work hard up the grade. Just around the curve, at the Marengo Street overpass in East Los Angeles, the 2013 edition of the train passed by. A few miles east of this location, the railroad runs in the middle of Interstate 10, just before reaching the city of El Monte. On April 16th of 2011, 3751 brought its train slowly through the El Monte Metrolink station. For a brief stretch through town, the Metrolink San Gabriel subdivision parallels Union Pacific's Alhambra subdivision.
the Cogswell Road crossing, the train passed under Interstate 10 on its way out of El Monte. Just behind my camera, the Metrolink rail line crosses over the Union Pacific on a large bridge known as the El Monte Flyover. The rail line turned to the north and away from the Union Pacific Alhambra subdivision crossing over Walnut Creek. Just ahead, 3751 and train would pass back under Interstate 10 on the way into Baldwin Park. Winding through the hills of San Dimas, 3751 really had the train moving as it passed through many quiet communities in eastern L.A. County. In Laverne, the train came around a curve through a business park as it joined up with the former Santa Fe Railroad Pasadena subdivision. For the rest of the journey to San Bernardino, 3751 would be on home rails. Santa Fe's 1940 vintage Pomona Depot has been closed to passengers for many years. It looked on quietly as the steam special roared through.
After waiting for a Los Angeles-bound Metrolink train to clear, 3751 was once again on the move, heading east through Upland. Next, I saw the train at two different locations in Rialto as it neared San Bernardino. As the 3751 brought its train around one of the last sweeping curves before the station, it entered the city limits of San Bernardino. Down the line at the San Bernardino Depot, Railroad Days was already bustling with activity. In addition to the normal BNSF freight traffic rolling by, there were both indoor and outdoor displays at the station. Swarms of people gathered to welcome the big locomotive as it pulled into Railroad Days at the end of a successful trip. During the event, 3751 remained open to the general public. Guided tours of the locomotive's cab were offered and many of the private rail cars on the train were open to visitors as well. Sunday, April 13th of 2014 marked the return trip of the final excursion to San Bernardino Railroad Days. As of 2024, this was also the last public excursion made by 3751. I stood on the Cherry Avenue overpass at the west end of BNSF's Kaiser Rail Yard. Three former Santa Fe Railroad GP60M locomotives switched cars in the yard. 
the red and silver locomotives and Santa Fe caboose provided a nice background as the special steamed west following its 3 p.m. departure from San Bernardino. In this onboard scene from the April 22, 2012 return trip, the special came to a stop in El Monte to wait for a Metrolink train that was boarding passengers in the station. Once the eastbound San Bernardino line train had finished boarding, 3751 continued toward Los Angeles.
As the train neared downtown Los Angeles and Union Station, it passed by Union Pacific's LATC intermodal yard and the LA River. After crossing the river, 3751 passed Historic Mission Tower, a now out-of-service railroad control tower that at one time managed all train movements into and out of LA Union Station. The return trip from San Bernardino Railroad days was coming to a close. Once all the passengers had disembarked, the train backed out of Union Station and then proceeded south along the LA River to the Amtrak 8th Street Yard. 3751 rolled slowly under the 6th Street Bridge and passed the LA Metro Red and Purple Line Subway Maintenance Center. The train was pulled up to the inspection pit, and then 3751 returned to its spot next to the Redondo turntable to await its next trip. Thanks for joining me for this look back at former Santa Fe steam locomotive number 3751 on its trips to San Bernardino Railroad days. The San Bernardino Railroad Historical Society is a not-for-profit 501c3 organization dedicated to keeping this big steam locomotive fully operational for all to enjoy decades into the future. If you'd like to learn more about the group and their current projects, or if you want to help keep 3751 running on the main line for many years to come, check out sbrhs.org. As always, a special thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. For regular notifications, every time I post to YouTube, click on the subscribe button and select the Receive All Notifications option from the pull-down menu. There's even more train and railroad-themed content on my other social media pages, and remember to stop by every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Time for an all-new railroading adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.